Okay, so in this video, I just want to talk about domain and range inseparable differential equations. And just, again, you got to be careful about domain and range. So here I've got uh, dy dx is equal to x over negative y, or I could say dy dx is equal to negative x over y, something along those lines. Um, and then if you've sort of done this, hopefully already, as uh, one of the examples, but if not, take a second to sort of see that this is the slope field, and then you sort of solve it out. And if you solve it by separable differential equations, you should get You should get x squared plus y squared equals n, and you can change, that's your c, so we could call it c or we could call it n, and so basically you get circles. Okay, so you say, well, let's just solve that for, um, if I say x, if I say y squared is equal to uh, n minus uh, n minus x squared. Well, then I take this away and I get the same thing, so that's no problem. <clears throat> and so then you go, well, then I go, um, y is equal to the square root of n minus x squared and take that away and you go oh this only gives me half of it because you'll remember that you have to do y equals plus or minus so you got to have a plus or minus and so you can no longer really we just sort of throw that plus minus out there all the time but it's really problematic in terms of math um, the plus minus it doesn't really work. So also you can remember you can it's very easy to forget the plus or minus square root of blah blah blah. So if you just sort of focus on this, that's going to give you the entire solution with no problems whatsoever. Okay, so another example that I want to give you on this one is, so you start off with dy dx is equal to 2x cosine squared y. That's what that is. And then uh, if you sort of do a little work, you come up with that you get tangent y is equal to x squared plus n minus, or x squared plus c. So tan y equals x squared plus c. Well, so that's um, that's that one. Okay, so what's the problem? Now I go y equals arctangent of x squared plus c. And so I get basically, uh, I'll throw it on this. I get the same thing, right? And I change my c and everything works together. Ah. But the problem is, is you got to zoom out. My red has values up here and here and down here and down there. So this has actually got to be, um, and I can never figure out how to make that thing, but this has actually got to be uh, plus pi. That gives you one and then plus 2 pi, that gives you another, plus 3 pi, that gives you another, or I could do minus 3 pi, minus 2 pi, minus pi, or 0 pi. So there's all these solutions that are captured with tangent y, tangent y equals x squared plus c captures all of these solutions. But if you wanted to um, capture all of those solutions 
using this y equals a tangent x squared plus or arc tangent or tan inverse of x squared plus c you would also have to add on this also plus n pi where n is any integer so once again if you want to capture all the solutions it's best to sort of not mess around with functions that are going to have funky domains and ranges okay that's all i want to say in that video